be bringing her up. I got to four. No, is she up there with Walmart? Hi, I'm Detective Kerr. This is Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Go ahead and have a seat on the left hand side there. I'll be here. Oh, okay, sure. Um, no, did you find everything you need? Okay. Give me this second, Tasha. So you got some water. Okay. Okay. I, before I start, I'm sure the officer, you don't have any type of weapons on you or anything. Did he look in the purse and everything? Did he put the purse right here? Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Did they get an ID from me yet, Tasha? Mm -hmm. Does the officer have it? Okay, okay. Give me just, just a second. I'll give you a chance to calm down for a second, and then I, I need to talk to you about what happened tonight, okay? I don't know. Okay, well, I need to know what you know, at least, okay? Would you give me just a second? I'll come in. Okay, you okay? Okay, you got some water, and you don't need anything else right now. Okay. Just so we have some privacy. You understand you're not under arrest and, and all that, but we need to know what happened, so I don't want to scare you or anything. I mean, you haven't done anything, so, but I do need to know what happened, okay? I All I have right now, I just got, came in from my house is your first name. It's Tasha, T-A-S-A, T-A-S-H-A, middle initial. L. What's your last name? Thomas. T-H. O.
those pearls run off of her to that. Comes off a werewolf. Okay. Uh, and a phone number? 937-260-5687. So how old are you then? 26. 26. Okay, you work anywhere? Yes. Where you work at? Access Home Care. A C C E S S. Yes. Are you a home health care worker? Yes. Okay. Do you have any children? Yes. How many you got? Three. What's their names? Roger, of course, and Jerry Anthony. Okay, uh, Roger? Yes. How old is Roger? Six. Okay, and, and, and uh, what was the other one, I'm sorry? The Cortez. Help me out. L A hyphen C O R T E O N. Okay, how old is uh, the Cortez? Seven. And I have to apologize, is that the. Boy or girl? They're both boys. Boys, okay. And did you mention you had two? Three. Or three? Okay. Uh, what's the other one? J S N E J A I R hyphen A N T H O M Y. O M Y. And the age of that child? Three. Uh, in Fairborn, who do you live with? By yourself, or do you live with your parents? Or? It's my house. My mother lives with me. Mom lives with you, or is it your My mother or? lives in my house. Okay. Oh. What's your mom's name? Diana. D I A N A. And a little initial L. Same last name? Yes. Okay. Date of birth. Okay. 10. 1968. Okay. What's your mom's phone number? Uh, 937. Okay. 397. 2533. And her unit. No, that's okay. I got her address. And Mom wasn't with you tonight. No. You were at Walmart with John, I understand. Yeah. Now, I, like I said, I just came from my house. I know his name's John. I don't know his last name, but what can you tell me about him before we start in? So his first name's John. Yes. Do you know his middle initial? Yes, H. Okay, and what's his last name? Crawford, and he's the third. C-R-A-W-F-O-R-D. Yes. The third. Yes. And is he from Cincinnati, I think? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know his address now? 48. Okay. Ridge, R-I-D-G-E-T, Court. Okay. Cincinnati, Ohio, is yes. that right? Yes. If I'm saying anything wrong, make sure you correct me. I want to make sure I get all this right. You know the zip code by any chance? No. Okay. No. Do you know a phone number for him? It's in my phone. I have a number for heart rate. He's got your phone. They took it. Well, the detectives there got it? Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. And how old is he? At 22, his birthday is 729. 729. 92. Okay. Does he have an Ohio driver's license yet? No. Yeah, Ohio. Is Cincinnati. It, okay. Is it, is it valid or suspended? Valid. Or, yeah, okay. Valid. Did he drive a car there tonight? <laughs> no, my truck is there. Your truck? <laughs> yeah, I gave the officer my key. My mom's waiting. So, okay, so you know about it out in the parking lot? Yeah, they okay. got my key. What kind of truck you got? It's a, it's a 1999 Chevy Suburban. I don't suppose you know the plate number. I'm sure they got that, but you probably don't know that, do you? No, I just changed it. That's fine. Don't worry about it. What color is it? Gold. Okay. okay. When I look at your background, have you ever been arrested for anything? Uh, in the past, uh, um, I got charged with OVI okay. and went to jail for a bit. Nothing criminal. Nothing or criminal. It's all traffic related. Basically, yeah. And okay. then my juvenile, I got arrested for, um, um, oh, 
petty theft, but they had dropped off. That's been a long time ago. Okay. You're, what, 26 now, so you've had time to learn, haven't you? So, John, what am I going to find out about him? Has he had a criminal history? Yeah, in the past he's had a criminal history. What kind of stuff is he into? I guess he used to sell drugs or something to the store. I'm not for sure. We've only been dating for a short period of time. How long? Like four months. Okay. Where'd you meet him at? We met at a bar. Where at? In Fairborn? No, in New Bright at Cricket. I mean, we just got back from Atlanta together, and okay. I've been with him, he's been with me every day. There's Are you guys living together now, or just see I mean, other? we just see each other every day. I drive back and forth, uh, drive back and forth to my house in Cincinnati. Okay. Let, let's, uh, let's talk about tonight, and we'll, we'll move into another direction if we need to, but I wanted to know a little bit about you before we started, so... Uh, at some point, you end up at Walmart, and were you with John? Yes. Okay, did you guys arrive together in your uh, suburban? Yes, I, what, uh, I went, I, I got off of work. I left his house this morning and went to work. I told him that if his mom wouldn't bring him down here, that, because he doesn't own a vehicle, that I would come and get him. His mom dropped him off at the Cincinnati Premium Outlet Mall. And what time was that? I've been home about six, about six o'clock. Okay. So she dropped him off. You met up with him. He I, got in your I, suburban. I, right. He got in the shop, and he he said, "Babe." They said, I have a bad day outside. I had a bad day too. My car is stuck on my nerves. He said, I know. He was like, I can hear it in your voice. He was like, well, let's talk about it. So I said, all right, well, don't let me forget. Let me get off the highway. I didn't stop and get the kids some graham crackers and s'mores to make s'mores and stuff. Okay, so uh, you guys came directly from we premium outlets? Straight to Walmart. 675, right to Walmart to get, uh, what'd you say, graham crackers? Uh, get stuff to make s'mores, mm -hmm. graham crackers. And, uh, the, I mean, the cart still has the stuff in it, but okay. graham crackers and the marshmallows and the but Hershey bars. What time did you arrive at Walmart? I don't know. If it was best you can. You ever think about 7, about 7, 15, 7, 30, and 7 something? Okay. And he had been telling me, like, our conversation was basically about his baby mama, um, and she just was driving him crazy and don't want him to see the kids unless she's with him or whatever. And she kept calling the phone constantly in the car. And I finally said... On his phone. Yeah, and I finally said, answer the phone. I, I she don't even know you're with me. Just answer the phone. I'll be quiet. Do you know his baby mama's name? Elisa. Lisa. Yes. And, um, okay, go ahead. I don't know her last name. I just tell you it's Lisa. Okay. And so she kept calling, and so he answered, and he said, it's that word to it. I don't want to argue with you right now. Um, I'm in Dayton, is what he said. He was on the highway with me. And she said, well, I thought you told me you were going to Dayton. He said, well, it doesn't matter where I'm going. I need a break. And he hung up the phone, and she kept calling back, calling back, calling back. And we was in Walmart, and she kept calling, calling, calling. And he finally answered it, and um, I walked over to the scrub area to get another pair of scrub pants for work. And he said, babe, I'm going to answer this phone call. No, this is that word that man, babe, I'm about to answer this bitch's phone call. Or she's going to keep calling. I said, I know, just go answer it. I'll be right here. And five, maybe ten minutes later, associate lady kept pushing me out the building. 
and that's all I know. Okay, so where were you at uh, when you told him to go answer it? What part of the store were you in? We were right there by the clothes, by right there by the you know panties and bras and scrub clothes. Okay, women's clothes. Yeah. And uh, you say you got a cart full of stuff there? A uh, cart. Cart? Oh, okay. Well, I, was, uh, I didn't get to make it to check out. What's, uh, what's in the cart, just quickly? The, there was two packs of Hershey bars, two, pack, two packs of uh, marshmallows, um, um, uh, Snoopy smock shirt, a pair of black, black scrub pants. Baby blue scrub, baby blue scrub pen, okay. and two boxes of graham crackers, and I picked up like a couple boxes of crowns and paper, but it was on sale when I first came. So I didn't even like grabbed it, and I was headed. I was going to go to the, the female female area, and never made it, uh, and I still don't know what's going on. Okay, so. She's, she's calling him and bugging him about the about about what exactly? So, uh, something to do with the kids, and she still wants to be with him, and she don't want she don't want uh, him to see the kids unless they can be together. She's got kids with him. Or how many? You know, two boys. One is like four months, and one is like I think he's two or three. Okay. How many times did she call him? And, uh, several. Okay. Several to the point where it agitated me. So he he only answered one of the calls. He or answered, answered Ray all? about I don't know, maybe about three. Okay. Give or take. So when you told him, baby, go go answer a call, go deal with this. Where did he go? He was down the alley. I didn't see him. Did no turns around and walked down the alley. Like okay. in Walmart, like this wall here, it has like all the scrub uniforms on it. And then like if you just turn around, there's like rows and they're filled with different panty and bra sections. And he just turned around and he walked that way. And, and when I turned around, he was going and they were pushing me out the store. What what did did you hear anything? <laughs> no, I really wasn't paying attention to really hear anything. I was trying to find my quiet in pain. So you didn't hear any commotion, is what you're telling me? No, sir. I didn't hear anything. It, was there not shots fired in the store? I didn't hear anything. Nothing? Oh my okay. kids. Okay. I didn't hear anything. Okay. When he got in the car at the premium outlets, what did he have with him? He had a bag, of, a grocery bag, I think it was from maybe Audi's or somewhere, it was a white bag, and he had his clothes in it. I seen clothes in it. I don't know what else was in it. I seen clothes in it. Had a white bag? Yeah. What, was a paper or what kind of? Plastic, white. White plastic bag? Uh, are we talking a... Like grocery bag. Like a grocery bag? Yeah. And what else do you have? His body. Huh? Just his body. Nothing Did he have a coat on? I, like I said, I haven't seen him. No. Okay. Did he have a weapon? No, nothing I know of. Now, now I, want to, I want to be very clear, okay? That man got a weapon at some point, I understand, okay? Mm -hmm. That that man produced that weapon. Mm -hmm. That man had the weapon when you picked him up, you had it in your car or something. Mm -hmm. You understand that, that we're investigating a, 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 a serious incident. You lied to me, and you might be on your way to jail. So I want to be very I clear about this. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, my goodness. I have a job and a family on everything I love. That's the officer. I didn't ask. Where, where, did, where did he get this gun? Sir, I don't know. I swear to God. Sir, I swear to God. I don't know. On every 
you say I love you and give me a lie detector test and everything. I swear to God. So he got in the car. He had a white bag. He never made any noise about doing anything to his ex or anything like no, that. Sir. Was she in the store? No, sir. She was in Cincinnati, to my understanding. Okay. You sure she wasn't in the store? I swear, to my understanding, she was still in Cincinnati. I never even met the girl. I only know her name is Lisa. Okay. And and you're telling me you didn't see his girlfriend in the store? No, sir. And when I when I check and I have a chance to talk to other detectives, they're going to tell me that she's not in the store and you didn't know she was in the store. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, sir. Are they going to tell me that you didn't know he had a firearm? Yes. Is that what they're going to tell I me? I wasn't with him. Yes. Are they going to tell me that he got in your car and did not have a firearm in his possession? I can't tell you what. Listen, I'm the, I, I, I don't want to be very clear with you that, that no, I you're have not a playing job games here, okay? And I, and, and I have a serious incident to investigate. I understand. And, and as I understand that that man had his hand on a gun at some point, I don't know all the details. I'm going to find out. Right. But Please my first step is to know. talk to you, and you were with him. You were with him just moments before this happened. You, you need to tell me the truth. I am. I am. I oh, swear, swear to God. God. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, my dad, brother, is great. I swear to you. I swear to you. I swear to you. I swear I don't know. Did he ever make a comment that he was going to go shoot her or anything like that? No. Why Why would he have a gun in the store? I don't know. Is he known to carry a gun? Not that, I've never known him. Don't tell me not that you know, because that's the first thing that, that I realize somebody's not telling me the truth and they say that kind of stuff. I've never known him to. Did he ever make a comment to carry a gun? No. Be truthful with him. Honestly, no. I just spent the night at his house with his mom. He's living at his mother's house. At that address, I just give you. Mm -hmm. And you know, ask his mom. They should be at the hospital by now. His mom and his uh, his mom wasn't with him. You were. That's why you're here. Well, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Last night. It, it, okay. I I, I want to know what you know, and you are very close to this man, and that's why you know what's going on, and and you need to be truthful with me because this might be your last chance. I'm not going to take another statement to, to to let you recant it. If you knew he had a gun, okay. even though you maybe were, you know, didn't say anything to him or you did say something to him, hey, it's not a good idea to be carrying that, tell me, okay? Sir, I swear to God, I didn't know. I swear to God, I'm looking dead in your eyes. I didn't know. I swear to God, if I wouldn't know, I have kids at my house. I wouldn't have did that. Well, your kids weren't with you, right? I was okay. on my way to the mailman. Were your kids with you? No. You and John went in Walmart. At some point, as I understand it, John produced a gun. You were with him just moments before that, I weren't you? I understand that, yes, sir. Okay, tell me where he got the gun from. Sir, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And and, and, and the truth is, you knew at some point he did carry a gun, isn't it? In the no, truth. sir. No, sir, I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Tasha, I'm having trouble with this. Please give me a lie future, but I, I, I you know nothing. You, you saw this man every day, you're telling me, right? I've seen him every day since we came back from Georgia. We just got back from Georgia on on Sunday. I dropped him off at his house Sunday. When we came back, I went home. I left my house on Monday morning to go to work. I left my I left my job Monday afternoon. I went home. I checked on my kids. My mom said everything was copacetic. I went to his house, which is where he resides at his mother's house that I know about. Mm -hmm. Spent the night there. We were playing with his son. His son wasn't feeling good. He's four months old. I took him to Myers to get some medicine for his son. Took him back to his house, to his mother, where we were all sitting in the front room. I got up, pray about 7, 7.30. I went to work. I had to be to work by 9 o'clock. I clocked into my job at 9.30. I left my job, I talked to him. He said that he was at court with his mother and father because they had a custody hearing. He, he was at court with mom and dad? That's what he said. Over Lisa? No. 
he was at court with his mom and dad, I guess, because his dad, this is what he told me, his dad is going through some type of child support or something. Oh, okay, it had nothing really to do with him. Right, okay. and he was just with them. Okay. And he said that his mom said that she would drop him off at the outlet mall. I said, okay, that's fine, but you do understand if I come up there to pick you up, that I'm not driving right back up there tomorrow because I drive a Suburban and it's a lot of gas. Sure. He said, yeah, babe, I'm cool with it. I'll stay down there a couple of days. That's fine. I got family down there anyways. I said, okay, that's cool. And then when he called me, I left my house. I was barbecuing outside on the grill. I asked my mom to finish watching the grill. Mm -hmm. She was watching the grill. I drove right there. I came right back, stopped at Walmart, was getting some stuff for s'mores, and went on to all this mess. I swear to God, I have too much at stake. I would never, never bring no guns around my kids or anything. Matter of fact, well, I you're not you're not carrying a gun, right? No. But evidently, he is, as I understand it. My my issue with you is that somebody that hangs as closely as you do with John would know if he carried a gun all the time, part of the time, or is known to carry a gun at all. Are you telling me he's never had a gun around you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why did he evidently have one tonight? Sir, I don't know. I don't know. If I would have known, I would have never said, oh, is my boyfriend still in there? It's what I kept asking everybody. Okay, so you're in the, uh, the, the you described as a brawl and panties area. You told him when the phone rang again, hey, go, go deal with, you know, baby, go deal with this. And he walked kind of behind of you somewhere. Did, was he going away from the front doors or towards the front doors? We were in the back. Um, the clothes, it would have been away from the front doors. Okay. And uh, did, did, you hear, did you hear anything that sounded like gunfire in there? Uh, no. I was, are, are you absolutely sure? Because that would be loud. I was looking for my size. I was looking for my size in my pants. And you didn't hear anything? No, I don't pay attention to nothing. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff, when, a lot of times when you're at the store, all types of stuff happen. And there was a, there was a, I don't know her name, there's a white lady with brunette hair that she had on a, um, Wait a minute. I want to say she had on a black shirt and khaki pants and a walkie-talkie in her hand. And I kept asking her, and she said, I can't tell you what's going on to go out. We have to evacuate the building. And I said, okay, there was two two Chinese-looking girls outside and kept saying, what did he look like? What did he look like? We seen somebody. What did he look like? And I kept telling you, black shirt, blue jean pants. You know, and she kept saying, oh, oh, hold on. And then all I know is I'm being snatched up by police and everything. I, I don't. Did you tell um, somebody you were with uh, the man inside there, John? Did you tell somebody that who you were? No, I said that I was looking for him. And okay, then okay. they grabbed me and said, oh, well, you, you must be a girlfriend. I said, yes, I'm a girlfriend. What's wrong? What's going on? And they said, I just need you to walk down here with the other, the officer that brought me in, he said, I need you to sit in the back of the cruiser. He looked in my purse before he set me in the back of the cruiser, and I sat there, and I waited, and I waited, and now I'm here. Okay. And well, they, now I'm here. Another issue that, that concerns me is, I guess people are scattered all over the place. I mean, there, there, was, there was gunfire in there, as I understand, wasn't there? You didn't what, hear anything. What you guys you, are telling me. And you didn't hear anything. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I so wasn't you, so the only did, person laboring. And your statement to me is you 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 spent quite a bit of the last four months with John. Uh, he he got in your car with the no, white. No, we thing. have only we have seen each other every day since Atlanta. We have not seen each well, you've other. Been, you've every, been dating for four months, I guess. Is what we've been talking for four months. Okay. Talking. As far as seeing each other every day, we have only seen each other every day since Atlanta. Okay. I picked him up, I dropped him off. Mm -hmm. We've seen each other variously in and out through the four months. 
We've been talking on the phone. I just got out of a relationship. Apparently, he just got out of a relationship with her. We didn't want nothing to lead to nothing too serious, too fast. And that's just what it is. It's been, I mean, that's what it's been. I mean, I'm not trying to be a, a witch or, or be a smart aleck or anything like that or lie to you. Because Lord knows, I don't want anything to happen to me. I don't want anything to happen to my kids. And a matter of fact, I have a nephew at my house right now through Children's Services and that can't even, the Children's Services worker told me if there's any type of firearms or anything caught in there that they would take, well, take the baby I out. I never said you handle a firearm. What I'm saying is I, I'm having issues no, 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 I with, and let's listen to me. What I'm having issues with is that, that you tell me that you didn't know he had a firearm with him. I'm having real issues with that because I'm telling you, Anybody around me that carries a gun, I know about it. If I'm carrying a gun, other people know about it. If I got it underneath my shirt, they know I carry. That's something well known about people. So that's the problem I'm having, Tasha. So did he go? I don't. Did, did he go to your car and get I, a gun? I don't know. Did Did he mention having a gun in that white bag? No, sir. Did he have a coat on? No, sir. Okay, so it's kind of hot, so he probably didn't have a coat on. Right. Did, did he ever uh, mention I'm going to shoot that bitch or something like that, the, the, the uh, Lisa? No, sir. Your statement to me is you didn't know he had a gun. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I, oh you know, it, it's been my experience that, that later on when people that should know that, you know, that sometimes it'll come out that uh, it's something else. But, I'll, I'll write it down for you if that's what you're telling me. But you'll take a polygraph if we need to? Yes. Okay. Yes. That might be right now. I don't need to do it right now. I mean, I'm just saying. Are you under the influence of anything? No. You been drinking? No. Drugs? No. See, I know your, I, eye, your eyes are kind of messed up looking and you seem a little lethargic at times, but I don't know if it's because you're upset or not. I just want to make sure what I'm I have been on. The only medicine I took today was my medicine early this morning, and it's called Adipex. And I haven't took anything since. You got a prescription for that? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me, uh, let me, uh, I'm going to get a statement form from you. Yes, for you. Sir. And I want you to kind of document what happened about you picking him up and what time and where. Just kind of what we talked about. I'll give you a few pages and I'll leave you for a couple minutes to collect your thoughts. And if your I statement don't... to me, listen to me, if your statement to me is you didn't know he had a gun, and that's the truth. Yes, sir. That's what I want you to put down. Yes, sir. But I'm going to be very clear that later on, if I find out otherwise, you could have a problem. So tell me now if, if you're not telling me the truth. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Did he go in at Walmart to cause anybody harm? No, I did not know of, sir. I'm telling you the truth. Did he, did he make that kind of comment? He no, sir. No, sir. Well, the, he, your, your statement to me should have been, not that I know of it, it should have been, no, we went in to buy s'mores. It shouldn't. So why, why, you know, that, that concerns me a little bit, too. Did he know his ex-wife was in the store? Was she in there? I don't know. You sure about that? I don't know if she okay. was in there. I'm going to find out. I don't know all the details. That's why I'm asking you. That's fine. Make sure you're truthful with me. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me get that statement for him. I'll let you calm down a minute and get started on that. If I have a few more questions, I'm going to come back in, but I'm going to give you a couple minutes alone. You okay, then? Okay. Can, can, you, can you walk me to the restroom? I need... Yeah. You know, we can go. Just, uh, just leave your purse here. Okay. Yeah, nobody will bother it here.
Any way to eat or anything, talk to the snack or anything?
So I'm just, I'm not saying you have to fill all these out, but like a decent statement if you could do it for me. Uh, it, don't put one on top of the other because it'll go through carbon and copy. carbon copy. So, so start filling that out, name, address, and stuff, and I'll, I'll talk to you in just a second. Go ahead, I'll explain it to you. Hello? Hello? Uh, right quick. Everywhere underlined, make sure you fill out okay. Phone number, make sure you sign. Okay. Dave, just like you explained to Detective Kurt, okay? Just what you know, okay? What you remember, exactly like who you told Detective Kurt. If you need extra, just go over here again, don't write on top of each other. You aren't on the suburban posh, is that in your name? Hmm? Is the top the suburban? Is it in your name? Hmm. You'll sign a consent to search so we can just look in there, won't you? So we yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'll, uh, well, we, we, we want to look in the, in the Suburban, and it just makes it a lot easier if you'll agree to it. So you'll find right something ahead, for me. Okay, you I'll want. get that in here in just a second. Go ahead and get her started. I don't have yeah. anything okay, to hide. You know All right, just okay. continue to fill this out, okay? okay? If you need more space, just continue right on here, and just like one of whatever. So just put one, two, three, four, what you need, okay? I'm going to go get that piece of paper for you, okay? Right. You need a snack? Are you good? You want a little munch? You want a cigarette again? All right. When you get done with that, I'll give you a cigarette, okay? You don't know your plate number, right? No. Okay. But it's registered to you, correct? Yes.
sign this. Let's put your hand in the center point. So basically what you're signing is a consensus search. Basically you're giving me and any and all Beaver Creek police officers uh, permission to look through your suburban located at 448 Pentagon, which is, is Walmart. All right. So go ahead and sign there and just put your address down in the last line. Do whatever you got to do. Okay. I don't have nothing on What about your phone? Will you sign one of those for that too? Yeah. Okay. I'll get you to sign it. Huh? To go through it? Yeah, to look through yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Um, what address you my address my your, your home address, yeah. So go, uh, what I'll do, I'll fill another form for the phone because they don't give you enough room to write on things, and then I'll just have you sign one for your phone too. What type of phone is it? It's an iPhone. No, well, it's just a uh, water phone. He has my phone. He what colors? My phone. Your 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 GMC. Gold. Pardon me. Gold. Go. It's not green, right? You used to have a green one. Uh -uh. Go. Blue? You okay. Blue this one's gold, correct? Yes. Okay. 99? I got, yeah, I just got that truck. I got that truck from, um, I got that truck from, uh, Pula Sonda. Okay. Is it registered in your name yet, though, or did you just switch plate? It should be registered. I paid him to switch my tags. Did you go to BMV yourself and do it, though? Uh-uh. Okay. Well, we'll get, when we get that name, then we'll go from that. That's, that's fine. Is it, should well, did I do hers, something wrong? Okay, we're good. No, 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 no. No, we just want to make sure, because uh, you're going to authorization. Look, don't we need to make sure it's yours. So you're yeah. telling us it's yours for sure. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, good enough. The papers okay. are in the glove department. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, just put the bare warm slide. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. See you want. Uh, just write fair warm how below it right there. I'm going to get her to sign one for the phone. Her phone also, I you have, have that. Right that. And we'll, I'll need to type them. We'll go ahead and I'll have come back in. And okay. Do that. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and go back to your statement. I'll bother you for a minute. Um, okay. Yeah.
Natasha, when we looked through the Suburban, is a bill of sale in there where you said you paid for it? The what? The bill of sale. Did you I'm still paying on that Suburban. It's a lease, uh, you know, payment agreement. Thing. Okay. You know, the, the stack of papers that they give you and roll it up. So is that in the car? Yes, sir. So it'll show that it's leased to you yes, in your name. And where's that yes, at in the car? If it's not in my glove box. That's what I'm just getting to. Where's that? Again? If it's not, if it's not in my glove box, then lift up the. If it's set on the driver's seat and you lift up the little middle console, yeah. then there's the roll down she, in there. She said to definitely pay for it for uh, lease with her name on it. If it's not in the glove box, it's in the center console. It's in an envelope, I take it. It's in an envelope. Yeah. It's a thick envelope. Thick, thick envelope in one of the two places. All my, everything is in there, everything. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're in good shape on that. Okay, I'll tell her. Okay. Okay, they're going to go ahead and they just want to find that to make sure. We just have to verify it's your, your vehicle for sure. So we're going to go with consent to search at any time you want to tell us to stop looking, just let me know and I'll have them stop, okay? Not right. not we stop appreciate you. your cooperation, I, I, I have to tell you that, okay? I know that's why I told okay. you I don't, whatever okay. you want, you can have it. Okay, okay. You need to go to my house if you need to. I don't have okay. to. Okay, if we need to, I will let you know. So, okay, I'll leave you for a couple minutes.
I'm thinking about this is for your phone. Let me get you to sign in. Put your address there for me. Uh, not in here. We're almost done. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll check with the supervisor and, and before I'm done with you, uh, I think your mom or somebody's out there. I'll make sure he's out there and we'll, we'll have him come in. And, and uh, I believe we're pretty well done with you for now. You are okay to come back in and talk to me or another detective? Whatever you need. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Let me. The the bag you mentioned. He didn't take that in the store with him now. Okay. Because I understand he had a long gun with him, uh, a, a rifle, and and you didn't see that in the car at all. No, I wouldn't get. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah, it was like a plastic permission. bag, though. It wasn't a big bag. No, it was like you know, like a, a bag like you get from like Save a Lot or Audi Jean. I'm not plastic bag. I don't. Okay. Hmm. I'm being honest. Okay. All right. Well, I, like I said, I don't know all the details. I do, I do understand he had that type of uh, uh, weapon with him, and, and you would have had to see it if he had in your exactly, car. Exactly, yes, sir. So, uh, well, I'll be all the way honest with you. All the way honest, I didn't even do the, the, the speed limit coming back because I told my kids I would be right back with more. Okay. What's his mom's name? Do you know? Not off the top of my head. I always call her mama because she's got a weird name. You, know? you don't know her phone number, is it? In my phone. Her number's in my They should be at the hospital by now, the okay. dad and the mom. Okay, all right. That's fine. Did you call them? Uh, no, they won't. I don't have my phone. They took it. How long did you think they're at the hospital? Um, I talked to them before they took my phone, and the dad said he you was on his way. Okay. You did call them? Yeah, they okay. called me and asked me why they couldn't get a hold of me. Yeah, I thought you meant. Just right after it happened, everything happened. Everything okay. happened. They were calling. Like, what's okay. going on? I guess the baby mama called okay. and said, "I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm as lost as you are. You want the truth? Okay. You can look at the videos. You can look at the cameras." We will. <laughs> Please do. We're still early on this thing, lie. but I, I, I'm just telling you, like I told you early on. Yeah. As I understand it, he produced a long rifle, and I, I have a problem thinking that you wouldn't have seen that at some point if it, it would have been in your car, which it, it had to have been if he came with, if he went with you to the store and he got out of your car and walked in the store with you. Exactly. Why did you not see that? Exactly. Exactly. I can put, I'm telling you, he's not, unless it's a fold-up rifle and you put it in a bag. All right. We're, we're, we're going to check into it. Like I said, we might want to talk a little more later. Yeah, but I, as, as long as you're telling me what you know and, and what I'm you're telling me is the truth. Yes, sir. So, okay. Whatever you want, whatever you need. Yes, sir. Everything I told you, I put right there on paper. I even went into details for you. Okay. Give me this thing. Let me read this thing. Uh, concentrate here, please. don't know what she said on the phone, but he told her that he was in Dayton with his family and then she must have said, I thought she was in Xenia because that's what he said, Dayton. It's all the same and hung up on her. She called back to when I told him I just answered the phone. Yeah, well, okay. Anything on there I didn't think that you want me to put? Uh, no, not at this point. I mean, we did a lot of talking, so I'll document that. Has he, has he uh, ever said anything that you would consider he would want to hurt himself or suicidal type talk or anything like that? Uh, 
he know I, he know if I don't condone with that, cause that's what happened to my brother. Okay. 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 Let me uh, let me call my supervisor and see what what they uh, want me to do, and uh, if they're okay, then I'll let your family come back, and we'll talk a little bit, and uh, I'll let you go home with them. Okay. They don't need to know none of my business. Let my mama know it's better off she is. Well, she's here to support you. I know. Okay. Let she know it's better off with Okay. Want to talk? I'm going to introduce you to Amanda Opeka. Okay. Amanda's with uh, Green County Victim Witness. Okay. And she came up for uh, for support. So. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Um, let me. Let, Amanda, go ahead and introduce yourself there. Let me uh, talk to him. Um, I'm Amanda from Victim Witness. So I'm just here, just kind of, we've been through a lot tonight, so I'm just here to sit with you. I'm not going to do some worse than I do, though. Okay. Right. okay. Um, so I'm just here to sit with you. Sounds like it's been a pretty chaotic evening. Beyond chaotic. Yeah. So, while they finish one of them, they want to sit down with you, and then I'll give you my card if you have questions later on that you follow up or anything like that that you need let me know. They still don't know if he's dead or alive? I don't know anything. Um, they just had to come sit in here with you right now, so I don't, I, that I don't know. <sighs> Do you have family that is out here with you that came with you today? I, they transferred me in the police car. I don't know who's out there, who ain't out there. I, okay, but you did call somebody to come and meet you and your My mom's there. supposed to be... Uh, I called her to come and get my okay. truck at Walmart, so I don't know if she's here or there. Okay. I don't know. All right. Okay. Um, I saw some people in a car out. I saw I initially when I had first left, so I don't know if that's, if that's them or not. White. You know, it's kind of dark. I don't know whether it was a white or it was like a teen color. I wasn't... No, I'm saying the people inside were white? Yes. Mom, all right, mom, mom. Yeah. I, I think it was like a four-door car. Yeah. A man driving. You know what, I didn't look well enough. I came from kind of behind their car, so I didn't really, didn't really seem to look very easily. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I live in Fairport. Oh, okay. So you live close. Okay. Is your mom close as well? Is she in Fairport? She lives with me. Oh, okay. Alright. And if you have questions later on, just the things that come up, just give me a call. This is a lot to just kind of take on. Yeah, fine. Okay. Um, so on your Suburban, we're going to look through it and I don't know if they're letting up the policeman on scene so we'll you know, give you a call and let you know what's going on, okay? How am I supposed to get to work? I don't know. I do but home care. Okay. We're not going to keep any long we have to, okay? I mean, I'm saying I got a client at 7.30 in the morning. Okay. We're going to try to deal with it tonight. Uh, but, you know, what we're dealing with is pretty serious so we need to make sure we're doing okay. what we need to do here and that's part of what we got to do is look through it. So. You know, hopefully we don't need to keep it for any reason, but they they have a big scene there. I mean, we've got Walmart we're looking into, we got the parking lot, we got your vehicle. We can't do everything this second, so they're going to get to it, and you know we'll stay in touch with you and let you know what's going on. Okay? Uh, your I think your mom's out there. Do you sure you don't want her to come back? Because we need to talk to you. Uh, I don't know if. It, Amanda has told you anything, but we'll, we'll you want let's have your mom come back. I don't want her back here. Well, she's here to support you. I don't want her back here. Okay, on the phone. all right. 
Well, uh, to let you know, uh, you know unfortunately, John has uh, passed away uh, as a result of this. Um, I don't know any other way to tell you. I mean, what what happened there wasn't uh, wasn't a good thing, and and uh, as a result of his actions, he he is gone. Um, you sure you don't want your mom back here?
Come here, Tasha. Go ahead and grab yourself. Go to the lobby and get you some air. Follow off to Bradley. He'll show you. Show you the way.